Hi, my name is Eric Worthen. Today we're going to be going over some of the basic tools you might use in the diesel industry. So we're going to take a look at some of the basic tools that we might use on a day on the job as a diesel technician. Um, almost everybody's seen a wrench before. Uh, this is a one inch wrench. Sometimes we'll use wrenches up to two and three inches. Um, a line wrench is a specialty tool that we use a lot of times on fuel lines and hydraulic fittings. It's got the box in so that we don't strip our fittings. Most people have seen a socket wrench or a ratchet before, and uh, just like automotive technicians and people working around the house, we use quarter inch drive in a lot of places like under dashes and uh, inside cabs. We use three eighths all over the truck, everywhere from the windshield to, uh, or from inside the cab to chassis work to engine work and things like that. But most of the time when we're doing suspension or heavy duty engine work, we'll reach for the half inch drive or bigger. Whenever it comes to sockets, a lot of people actually don't know the difference between a chrome and a black socket. A chrome socket is meant to be used with hand tools, like the ratchets I have here in my hand. Um, they're also designed to have a thin wall so we can fit them in tight spaces inside an engine compartment. Black sockets like this are designed to be used with impact wrenches. They're made of a softer material, so they're designed to absorb the impacts. If we use a, a chrome socket like this on our impact wrench, we can damage the tools and, uh, and put ourselves in danger because the tools might break. A lot of technicians just starting out don't know which to buy. Well, unfortunately, if you stick around the industry long enough, you'll probably end up needing both. As we're tightening bolts and we're putting um, engines and chassis and other components together, people often don't know, how do you make sure a bolt's tight enough? If we over tighten a bolt, we can damage it. If we don't tighten a bolt tight enough, it can fall out and rattle out going down the road. And then our customer comes back mad because their truck's broken. So the tool that we go to to make sure that bolts are torqued properly is our torque wrench. I've got a couple of different sizes here, and this is our 3H drive torque wrench. It's probably a good tool for anyone that likes to work on their cars or equipment around their house to own. Um, this tool here helps us make sure that we're properly tightening fasteners. They come in different styles. This is also a 3H drive torque wrench. We call it a 3H drive because our square drive on the end is 3 eighths of an inch. Here's our half inch digital. This is really fancy, but whenever you're building 15 to $20,000 engines all day, we wanna make sure that we torque everything to specification and we're doing our job right. What about tires and wheels? Well, if you own a car or pickup truck, you probably wanna make sure that your lug nuts are torqued to specification, and this will be the best tool for you to use. Uh, we torque, uh, generally we'll, we'll torque automotive lug nuts to about 100 foot pounds of torque, and this is the right tool to use. What about when we're working on semis and heavy equipment? Well, semi lug nuts torque to 475 foot pounds. We still have to make sure they're properly tightened. So whenever we're uh, working on uh, truck wheel ends, we, we like to use our large torque wrench here, which is a three quarter drive. This one here can tighten bolts up to 650 foot pounds of torque. Thanks for coming to the CNM Diesel Lab. Check back soon for more videos.